and only 19, Lady Gaga suffered sexual assault from someone who was supposed to guide her in music. Pain, trauma, and health issues became a regular part of her life. How did she cope and overcome the struggles? Watch this video and you will learn more about the 13 times Grammy winner and all the challenges she had to overcome before reaching celebrity status. Born as Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanotta on March 28th, 1986 in Manhattan, New York City. She was raised in an upper middle class Catholic family. Her father is Joseph Germanotta, an internet entrepreneur. Her mom, Cynthia Louise, is a philanthropist and a business executive. She has a sister by the name of Natalie. Stephanie's parents came from lower class families, but they worked hard to improve their status so that their children would never lack anything. A teenager with some insecurities. The fact that the media and society have always put a lot of pressure on women to conform to conventional beauty standards did not go unnoticed by 15 years old Gaga. Many models, actors, and celebrities have thin bodies, flawless skin, and hair especially many years ago. This is what was typically considered beautiful and fortunately it is finally changing. Weight gain is slowly but surely normalized nowadays, but not long ago women were publicly shamed and ridiculed if they suddenly gained weight. In 2012, Lady Lady Gaga was the talk of the media with her constant shifts in her weight. She decided to open up about her struggle with her body image. She revealed that she has had an eating disorder since she was 15 years old. She felt she had to be skinny in high school to be a promising ballerina. She would therefore force herself to throw up after eating, which resulted in her developing problems with food. In 2013, Gaga launched a campaign called Body Revolution. The purpose of the campaign was to encourage people to accept their bodies. The campaign successfully normalized the struggles people face with food and their bodies. Gaga no longer has issues with her weight. She is healthy and eats regularly. She is comfortable with her natural body shape. She accepts her morphology and encourages other women to do the same. Bullied Lady Gaga was heavily bullied in high school. Once, she returned from gym class and discovered profanity scrawled across her locker. It sticks with you and it hurts and I went home and cried. I didn't want to go to school, she explained. In another instance, Gaga, or Stephanie as she was known then, was interrupted while giving a school presentation. The bully asked her why she was still talking. She was hurt and cried in front of the whole class. Teenagers can be so cruel sometimes. While in NYU, she went on to have more difficulties. Some students created a Facebook group called Stephanie Germanata, You Will Never Be Famous. The group was devoted to slamming the star. Thanks to God and her natural talent, Lady Gaga has proved them wrong. She is now an international star. Because she has suffered so much from all these events, the star decided to launch the Born This Way Foundation at Harvard Graduate School of Education. The foundation is meant to instill bravery and kindness in young people. We truly hope she reaches more youngsters to have a positive impact on them. A young artist trying to find her space. At the age of four, Gaga could play the piano. This was after her mother insisted that she becomes a cultural young woman. She took piano lessons and practiced as a kid. The studies also taught her to create music by ear, which she preferred over reading sheet music. Parents encouraged her to pursue music and enrolled her in creative arts camp. During her teenage years, Gaga would perform at open mic nights. She played the lead role of Adelaide in a play Guys and Dolls at Regis High School. For 10 years, Lady Gaga studied method acting at Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute. She unsuccessfully auditioned for New York shows. However, she appeared in a small role as a high school student in a 2001 episode of The Sopranos titled The Telltale Musadel. Music is the thing that comes easiest to Gaga. In 2003, at 17, Gaga gained early admission to Collaborative Arts Project 21, a New York University Tisch School of the Arts Music School. She studied music there and improved her songwriting skills by writing essays on art, social issues, and politics. She wrote a thesis on pop artist Spencer Tune and Damien Hurst. She withdrew from school in 2005 during the second semester of her second year to focus on her music career. Dropped at the last minute. Gaga recorded two songs with hip-hop artist Mellow Mel for an audiobook accompanying Cricket Casey's children's novel The Portal in the Park in 2005. She also formed a band called the SG Band with some friends at NYU and they played gigs around New York. In 2006, a talent scout named Wendy Starlin recommended her to music producer Rob Rosari. The producer collaborated with Gaga. He helped her to develop her songs and compose new material. 
Pissari and Gaga started dating in May 2006. He claimed to have been the first person to call her Lady Gaga, derived from Queen's song Radio Gaga. Their relationship lasted until January 2007. Pissari and Gaga established a company known as Team Love Child LLC to promote her career. They recorded and produced electropop tracks sending them to music industry executives. One of the executives, Joshua Sarubin, the head of artists and repertoire at Def Jam Recordings, responded positively. After the Approval from Sarubin's boss Antonio L.A. Reed, Gaga was signed to Def Jam in September 2006. Unfortunately, Gaga was dropped from the label three months after she was signed. She then began performing at neo-burlesque shows, which according to her represented freedom. She met performance artist Lady Starlight, who helped mold her onstage persona. Stroke of Luck Singer and producer Akon is credited with discovering Lady Gaga. He worked closely with the pop star in her first two albums after Def Jam Records dropped her. Akon signed her as a free agent at that time. Since then, Lady Gaga has become an internationally known pop star. In 2010, Lady Gaga won two awards at the Grammys. The awards were Best Dance Recording for Poker Face and Best Electronic Dance Album for the Fame. She later swept the Brit Awards in London, where she performed a tribute to the late designer Alexander McQueen. She walked away with three awards. Akon is full of praise for a student and prodigy, he told the Associated Press. She has pretty much retired me, terming her as a blessing as she came at the right moment. Lady Gaga's star is definitely on the rise and will not be going down anytime soon. Her hard work and dedication has paid off. That's the way to go, girl. Struggle with substance abuse. In an interview in 2011 with Howard Stern on Billboard, Lady Gaga admitted to having used narcotics to cope with difficult times. We can't blame her. This lady has undergone natural calamities from which she may want to hide, but substance abuse is not the solution. The substances made her feel like she had a friend. However, she regretted using it. She was once addicted to marijuana and used it as a form of self-medication to cope with pain, anxiety, and depression. Gaga has now stopped using any of these substances. The only struggle she is facing today is drinking. Her hit song Rain On Me refers to her failed attempts at sobriety and is a metaphor for heavy drinking. We hope she will overcome this too. Mental well-being being a pop star has not saved the young woman from undergoing low times, which were depressing to the extent of contemplating taking her own life. In one of the most emotional interviews with CBS Sunday Morning, Gaga detailed the mental health struggles that led to her hating her onstage persona. She said, My biggest enemy is Lady Gaga. That is what I thought. She lamented she couldn't do everyday things like Stephanie, as her stage name Lady Gaga would always get the attention. Gaga reached the point where she gave up on herself. She hated being famous, being a star, and felt exhausted and used up. At times, she would self-harm. She could not understand why she should live to be there for her family. Why should I stick around? She would question. It was triggering to be swarmed by fans while in public for the singer. She would get panic attacks if she was out grocery shopping and noticed someone getting closer to her and taking photos. It all began after she suffered a sexual assault early in her career. This made her think that people take her as an object, not a person. In 2014, Gaga shocked the world when she revealed that a record producer on the Howard Stern show sexually assaulted her. She kept quiet for seven years as she blamed herself for it. Not only was she assaulted repeatedly, but she was also held captive at 19 and left pregnant. No woman should have to undergo all this trauma and painful experience. All of this inspired her song, Till It Happens To You. Gaga has been open about her her mental health struggles all along. She previously said that she focused on her music rather than dealing with the emotional and physical trauma she suffered. Fortunately, her team of doctors has taught her how to manage her mental health. Difficult Challenges Apart from suffering mental health issues, Gaga struggled with PTSD and fibromyalgia. In 2018, Lady Gaga had to cancel part of her European tour following a severe bout of chronic pain caused by fibromyalgia, which she was diagnosed with in 2016. The condition causes her to experience entire body pain as a trauma response similar to what she felt after being sexually assaulted. The pain was too much. She felt as if she was dying. She has now managed both conditions through mental health therapy and non-narcotic medication. 
a singer, but also an actress. Over the past decade, Gaga has shown the full range of her talent by acting in several acclaimed films. Gaga's big screen debut was in a movie, The Chameleon, in 2013 with a leading role. In 2018, Gaga starred alongside Bradley Cooper in the remake of the famous film A Star Is Born as Ali, a waitress and aspiring singer-songwriter. She was nominated for the Best Actress in a Leading Role at the 2019 Academy Awards. In 2021, Gaga starred as Patrizia Reggiani, who was married to Maurizio Gucci, grandson of the designer clothing company's founder, Guccio Gucci. The film was known as House of Gucci. She will also be in the upcoming film, Joker, Folie de a sequel to the 2019 film Joker starring Joaquin Phoenix, and we can't wait to see that one. Although Lady Gaga's life has been filled with dark phases, this has not stopped her from going after her dreams. She has not given up, but has worked hard and risen to the top. She has become the best she can be and still going higher. The sky is not the limit for the star. We wish her all the best. She deserves all the happiness and peace that the world has to offer. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe.